war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hmm, this new haircut's really working for me. What do you think, hon? Beard or no beard?
Huh? I'll just be a minute. Braxo, for all your cleaning needs. Another fine product of General Atomics International. You know, let Codsworth take care of it. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. changes. <laughs> Got that right. No need to get dressed twice. get this signed next time we're at the park. <laughs> the glove's a little big right now, but Sean will grow into it. <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. Coca-Cola, ice cold. Looks like the milk got delivered. Saddle up Salisbury steak, graded A+. <laughs> How can someone so small drink so much? at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I am referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. This afternoon, right here in the city, Boston's swatting sultans will swing from the fences. Led by 
by star pitcher Matt the Missile Murtaugh. Boston hopes to defeat Texas and deliver their first World Series victory. Come on, just answer the door and he'll go away. And now for a brief look at the local weather. Good morning! vault calling. vault -Tec? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir. And helping secure your future. You see, vault is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Aiden, Sean has been changed. But he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. Hey, Codsworth. Mr. Mm -hmm. Codsworth. If I may, mm -hmm. Sean requires your personal attention. A boy needs his father, after all. Mr. Aiden, were you going to check on young Sean? I'm afraid I've done all I can. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. Codsworth. We're, uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got you. 
residents of Sanctuary Hills. If you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. You two, follow me. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? We're everything we can. Now keep moving. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! <laughs> 